In this video, I'll be showing you how to varnish your board. The two main reasons for adding varnish to our wooden boards is it adds in a very important layer of UV protection and it also makes your board look amazing with this beautiful glossy finish. To prepare your epoxy surface for varnish, it's best practice to wait until your epoxy 100% cures before adding your varnish layer, which can take around 5 to 7 days in normal curing conditions. Waiting almost a week when you're so close to taking your board out on the water can be difficult, but I promise it will be worth the wait. After five days, I lightly sanded the hot coat of my board with an orbital sander using 320 grit sandpaper to ensure a strong bond between the varnish and the epoxy layers. Don't worry about losing that shiny look from the hot coat, it will come back with the varnish. Then I took a vacuum over the surface of the board to remove that first round of sanding residue. And then next I took a clean terry cloth soaked in denatured alcohol to wipe off any remaining residue. This solvent evaporates pretty quickly and now the board is prepped and ready for varnish. For this board I'm using a two-part polyurethane marine spar varnish from Interlux called Perfection Plus, but other spar varnishes work well too. I have ready a mixing cup, a stir stick, a paint tray, and a high density foam roller for application. Some people like to use the roll and tip method which uses a high quality paintbrush right after applying your varnish with a roller. That can help reduce runs and small air bubbles from forming, but I actually didn't have any issues with my varnish and it came out bubble free. After adding your varnish to your paint tray, you're ready to start rolling your varnish similar to you would painting a wall with a roller. Just use light pressure over the entire surface you have facing up and don't work the surface any more than you have to. Roll the varnish across your entire board including the side rail material. In my case, I'm adding two total layers of varnish around the entire board, letting it dry for a day in between coats. If your first coat has some imperfections that you don't like, you can always sand lightly with some 320 grit paper which will also allow that second layer of varnish to bond well with the surface. If you are satisfied with that first layer, it's still a good idea to use a Scotch-Brite pad instead of sandpaper to lightly scuff the surface. So after you've applied your layers of varnish to the top and bottom of your board and let it fully cure, your board is officially ready for its maiden voyage and many years of use out on the water. And that concludes this 11 foot 8 inch paddleboard build series. Thanks to everyone who followed along and good luck with your project. Check us out at jarvisboards.com for more information and support in your hollow board building adventures.